Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verses 1 through 8, where it is written, Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these things that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How could anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, being born again, or born from above, what does that mean? And Nicodemus shows some real humility here. He is a really educated, intelligent, religious leader. He could have blustered and said, Well, Jesus, uh, that's your opinion, but I know what's really going on. He could have put on some bravado because I'm a smart guy. He doesn't. He's like, Jesus, what do you mean? I'm lost. And Jesus speaks to him and explains. And from their interactions, we see later on from scriptures, Nicodemus becomes a follower of Jesus Christ. Powerful lesson for me as a pastor. Yes, I have a master's degree. A lot of people have MDivs. But if that thinks you means you know what's really going on about God, guess again. Yes, you have a lot of head knowledge. Trust me, I do. But you have head knowledge. Who is God? Who is Jesus Christ? In relation to that, whether you have a lot of head knowledge or you don't, we're all beggars. We don't know what's going on. Or lost little children. And thank God Jesus Christ loves us. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, that's our God. God loves us. And by the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ is revealed to us. It's not about head knowledge. It's about the faith the Spirit gives us. Faith that comes from hearing the Word of God. Faith that comes from getting baptized. Faith that takes from, comes from taking uh, the body and blood of our Lord. That is faith. It's not head knowledge. In fact, every time the Bible word says faith, it's not talking about head knowledge. It's talking about confidence in who Jesus Christ, faith in him, and that faith working through love. That's what the Bible means by faith every time it says it, not head knowledge. So the lesson here is to strive, be, strive to be like Nicodemus. Don't think, oh, I know this. Oh, I got this covered. I'll show you. No. I, as a pastor, know enough. No, I don't really know that much. I'm not the Almighty God. But I'm thankful. I know the Almighty God loves me. Look at the things in my life I've done wrong. I know the Almighty God forgives me. I look to the future even after my time on this earth, with confidence, because I know that the Almighty God has loved me and called me according to his purpose. I don't get that from the head knowledge. I get that from the Holy Spirit. So you, uh, sitting at home watching this on the monitor, uh, it doesn't matter how much head knowledge you do or don't have. What matters is Jesus Christ and his love for you. For he's the Almighty God. He loves you, forgave you at the cross, and gave you the eternal life of the empty tomb so you may be with him eternally. Why? Because he loves you. That's all you need to know. Now, I need to know a bit more because I have a job to do. But really, in life, it's that faith, that gospel. That's all that matters. That's all you really need to know. So let us close with prayer. God, we thank you for the gospel the gospel of love, the gospel of simplicity that you showed to us in Jesus Christ. Keep us secure in this gospel always. Amen.